Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. For a single day, we've got a half a lorry load of stuff here. That's not bad. I'd say that's pretty good going, really. Let's move on over. So we've got um, bread, cakes, we've got cereal. One bit further. Lots of um, pizzas. Are we going to have any extras coming out here? Let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, have I got 2,000 litre pallets or not? I don't think I've got 2,000 litre pallets. I think I have, rather. Um, that's, that's why they're not popping out. Let's have a look. Uh, if I go... Oh, yeah. There we go. See, uh, mass says it's 2,000 litre pallets. Right, that's why I haven't got any more spawning out. And move on a little bit further. So, these pallets here, those donuts... They're obviously not coming out. Uh, we're not getting a great deal of stuff come out just yet. So then I made this extra little bit where I could spin round. So I have made a slight error when I built this place. It needs to be a bit further apart. That was entirely my fault. I got that wrong. So donuts are 5,000 litre pallets. Pancakes with maple syrup, that's 1,000 litres. The donuts are all 5,000 litre pallets. I'm going to bring you on forward a bit, and, and I'll switch to the back trailer. That one, okay, that one is fully empty. That's good. I can start loading that one. It's going to put on some pancakes. I need to just move forward a bit so that we get those pancakes. And then I need to make sure that they all come out. So I'm not sure how many we got at the moment, but I haven't picked... Oh, no, that's it. It says there's another one. Uh, that may have just been one extra that made just at the last minute. Okay, so I've got some of them. And then we want to move on. And we've got mayonnaise down through here. Mayonnaise, these pallets, we get quite a bit in these. There's also a ketchup pallet there in the middle. So we don't get a lot of ketchup pallets. But that's mainly because of issues. And there won't be any more of those. Because th it does go all the way along the front of that building when we have that one full. So there's definitely not anything else coming out of there. So the only stuff that I've got left to go and gather up is a bit of lettuce over here. There's a single solitary pallet of lettuce. And then I've got honey and eggs to collect. So we put on the pallet of lettuce right there. And then there will be a pallet of honey that we'll pick up. That's that load there. Lettuce is 2,500 litres per pallet. Honey is 2,000 litres per pallet. I've got 7,000 litres of pancakes with maple syrup. Um, see the other pancake. Pancakes. Yeah, I've got 11,000 litres of standard pancakes. There is a lot of food on here. 20,000 litres of potato pizza up the top. <laughs> this is insane. Right. How much is this lot going to get me, I wonder? Let's... Take off all of those straps on the back there, and then I'll go to the front lot. I'll uh, No, I don't want to load it. I want to take straps off. All straps off there as well, and then we can slowly work our way across the bridge, selling everything as we go, like this. Cake is a bit of an issue. So is the pizzas. Those don't empty out very quickly. That's definitely a bit slower than I would really like. There's not a lot that I can do about it. We just have to go a little bit steadier, that's all. But I'm already over 100,000 litres in this. Those pizzas do seem to have a reasonable bit of money in them. I'll just keep moving on this way. I've got a load of pancakes being sold right there. And then we've got all of the extra stuff. Go on, a little bit more. Uh, mo if you've got to keep just moving a little bit to a little bit to a time uh, the lettuces they're the last bit so I'm close to 300,000 euros just from this load alone 281,000 just from that load that's actually pretty good I'm quite pleased with that because I got another load yet well it's, it's just honey now Let's start you up and set you going with the hired help off you trot I don't know if you're gonna He's probably going to stop there and turn around, and we'll have the other little bit that we'll have to do afterwards. So we'll, we'll deal with that. And you right here. I'll finish loading that one up. 
And then I can go back to my lorry and do another round. This time it is just honey and eggs that I need to get. There's nothing else, just honey and eggs. So if I run down this way, it's that little bit of a dip there. I keep hitting that every time and sort of half catapulting my vehicle around. I don't really like doing that. Start this one up. I'll come down this side and we'll start it down here. And then I will work my way up through here like this. This is going to be an obscene amount of money. Now, I've got all of that honey down there on the other one. Uh, but that is not going to get me the massive amounts of stuff that I'm getting on this one. Um, let me switch that over. And start loading that rear trailer. So there's one pallet of eggs on there. A hundred as one million two hundred and fifty thousand eggs that I've got on board this thing already. And then we've got all of this honey over here. That's another lorry load right there. Which is also slightly insane. I think actually the best price that you get for honey is slightly later in a year. Let me go to this one now. I like this one. Uh, honey, right there. Right, at the moment, it's 1,075. Uh, oh, it's only like 50 more in March. So we really don't need to worry about that. Like, we, we are on more than 1,000 euros a litre. One thing that I want to know from you, the viewer, when we move to a new map, it's no longer if, it's now when, when we move to a new map, which will be around about the time that the new DLC comes out, which is the beginning of December. So there is our time frame. At beginning of December, I'm planning to move to a new map, and that will coincide with the release of the new DLC, so that whatever new map that I pick, I can use the new crops that are being released with the DLC. I might do the new series on the new map. I'm not picking out a map yet. I'm, um, I am open to some suggestions of maps if you really want. Um, but at the moment, I'm not too concerned about which map it'll be. It'll be a different map to what I'm using at the moment. I might use the DLC map. I would say that's probably unlikely due to the fact that the new map is probably going to be festooned with trees like this one. And if I want to be able to edit the map and alter it as we go through, uh, it's going to make life more difficult. And also, editing the map and altering it from a DLC is, again, going to be a tricky task. There is another 1.5 million euros added to the pot. One other thing, when I do start a new series, do you still want me to play on hard difficulty? Uh, this is on hard difficulty, and with the, um, the eggs we get... We make an obscene amount of money from the eggs. Right? We have no problem making cash because of the eggs. Right? They absolutely... Um, they're making us rich. We are definitely getting very, very rich from the eggs. Now, I've got no problem with that. But I'm curious. If we were to change this over and instead of using the hard difficulty like we got right now, we were to go for the easy difficulty. I think it's like twice the money that we get for this. Pretty sure it's doubled up from what we got right now. Um, so, I mean, let's have a look at this right here. I go in there. I'm going to take the straps off of that back one. And then I'm going to take the straps off of that one. And we're going to run through. So we had all of the eggs on the last. This is just honey on here. Uh, but all of those eggs. So we had like 1.5 million euros. That could be 3 million euros a time. Now, if I was on a four times map and the land prices are suitably expensive, then maybe that would be all right. I'm pretty sure I know how to alter the base value of the land prices on a map. So there's another 107,000 euros in there. Brilliant. We've now got 1.8 million. That's a lot of money. Well, for some people. For us, maybe not so much. I'm going to go up here to you. Right. Where are you? Right, okay, I see what we've done there. And we want to go here. So it's that bit. I need to turn around and just have it work out that last bit down there. That's going to be the only issue with 
this field up here is doing that bit. Um, I think in a new series, I will actually... One thing I will change around is I will have square fields, or at least round fields. I'd, like, if I've got a bit like this, this is why I want to be able to edit the trees out quick and easy. Uh, well, not just the trees, like edit everything, so I don't want too many trees in it. Um, having this kind of bit on it makes it more difficult to edit trees. Uh, well, to, to do an edit in the map, because as soon as I do the edit, the trees come back. Um, yeah, that's something I can work on later on. It, it doesn't really matter. Right, uh, set the hired help going on there. You will carry on and do that bit. There's nothing else that I need to worry about. I can go and take the chicken feed now. Let's go and have a look at our animals once more. You have got 400,000 and you have got 360,000. So we will take the animal feed over here. We will run over to our chickens and we will feed said chickens. Um, all right. So I'm moving to a new map going to go and try something new, something different, and I am going to attempt to do some things a bit differently to what I do right now. I'm not really sure about the whole idea of not using fertilizer anywhere on the map. Um, I'm, I'm in an iron about that one. I mean, maybe I could only apply fertilizer with seed drills and just make sure that I'm only using seed drills that have... Um, fertilizer going in with them right, if, if I only have that then that might be a way forward that that might be a way to do it so we have one layer of fertilizer per round instead of two it could make life a little bit easier you know so we just have the one lot of fertilizer on everything the corn that would be different if we're planting that like it's already got a bit and grass we wouldn't be doing any fertilizing on the grass. It would just be cut and then whatever is there. We don't go over it with the fertilizer. Because this is all stuff that takes, like, this one's taking ages to go through this. And then I'd want to do it again. So that's a possibility. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to buy some more cows. I'm going to buy 12-month-old cows. We've got 1.8 million. I feel that this is a suitable time to go and buy a few extra. I have been talking about this previously. And I haven't actually gone and done it. So I think this is the time to go and buy some more cows. Let's go and have a look around here and see what we got. Right, uh, you? There. So we're using brown Swiss cows. And I do realise that the Frisian cows is probably the big, the Holstein Frisians. They, they are the, the, the big cow. That's, that's the one that everybody likes. But I kind of like the idea of having the, the, the brown ones. That it's, it's nice to have something a little bit different. So we get 60 cows if we do that. So I will buy 60 for 70,800. And... Oh, no. I don't do that. You've got to go over to this side and do it. So buy another 60. Okay. And another 60. And another. And one more. I think that's 300 extra cows that I've just gone and bought. Okay. There should be an extra 300 cows. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, 300. Right. We now have an additional 300 cows in our total cows. And if we have a look in... Yeah, if you have a look in there, it doesn't actually tell you how many cows there are, but if you have a look in here, it does tell you when you click on them. So we've got 850 on the farm right here. Uh, if I was to get two more lots, that would take us up to almost a 1,000. Let's do it. There. Buy. There. All right. 970 cows. That's almost a 1,000 cows. That's a lot of cows. I've got 418,000 feed in there. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough. So what we will do before we go and skip the night, we will go and get our trusty lorry, which is the yellow one. You are... Are you actually finished? Or are you just saying that because you're tired? Yeah, you're finished enough. Right, that's close enough. You can have a rest in the ditch. You'll be fine. Um, Let's go and get... No, no, I want to get the trusty lorry. This one. I'm going to feed it this one today. 
Uh, except I don't want to do that. I do actually need to get our tractor, which is this one. Because the other one, the wheels are too big and you won't fit. So we'll do this one right here. And I'll wash that one off a minute. Tip that out. And then we'll drive around and we'll go and get the mixed feeder. 1.5 million litres that one holds. And the big question is going to be, do we have enough food now to be able to feed these extra cows that I've gone and bought? Because I've just gone and bought like uh, 420 cows. That's quite a few. That is quite a few additional beasties to keep fed and happy. How much have I got going in here? Let's make this thing slow. Well, that old Slowpoke tractor is um, filling up, not tractor, well, well the Slowpoke factory thing. It, while it's filling up, I've decided to come and grab this tractor. I'm going to drive it home. We will wash it as we go. There we go, nice and clean. And going to take this one back home where it belongs. This field is now all done. It is fertilized. It is ready for the harvest. So we will leave that one as it is and we won't worry about it anymore. Um, I was wondering about maybe leaving weeds on the fields, but yeah, I don't really want to do that because it's just, again, it's, it's hitting the yield and I don't think it's absolutely necessary to go and do that, like, without due cause. So the, the whole fertilizer thing, if I'm planting, I'm at least putting one layer of fertilizer into things. Uh, when it comes to grass, you get 60% yield on your grass if you don't fertilize, I think. Uh, if you don't put, like, the second round of fertilizer on there. Um, so there's something that we could do, I suppose. But again, it's... Yeah, I mean, maybe we could just fertilize the grass. I I'm not sure. I I I'm, I'm really umming and eyeing over how I should approach that little bit. Like, it it's... On the face of it, it seems like it could be an interesting little challenge to not add fertilizer except when planting. But when you stop and think about it a little bit, it just kind of... It seems like that might just be adding an extra layer of work. Um, just, well, s slowing things down without getting a suitable amount of reward. So I'm really not sure about that one. Um... But as for the other things, yeah, I, I think that we're on the right track. If I was to start off the new map with all of the factories that we've got right here and have that already laid out, I'll um, place them all down in all the right places uh, how I want and we'll have a bit of land and so on and we'll start off with like 20 cows and 20 chickens or something like that. Um, I think that it would be a good way of doing it because that way we've kind of have we we get to keep most of the progress that we've made on this series we're not losing it and then having to go all the way back to the beginning and start over which i don't really want to do that's that's not something that i wanted to do um i like the idea of being able to continue on with our progress just in a different location so it's just finding the correct balance of how we can achieve that so you comment section i know i'm asking well i i i do frequently ask you to go into the comment section because that's what the comment section is for it's for you to communicate with me and i may not necessarily answer you all the time when you go in the comment section but i still read everything that you put in there so it, it it does count it is actually worth you doing it and we're getting you can actually see the food on the ground now in this pen that, that, that that's quite remarkable let's go and have a look down here how we're we doing right look at that see we, we've actually got more than just a red circle for our total mixed ration in there, which shows that we're putting something... I can't remember what I set this to. I think it's like 50 million or 100 million or something obscene like that. Um, we can put a lot in here. I remember that. I know that we can put an awful lot in here. Uh, oh, 60 million. There we go. There's, there's our numbers. We can have 60 million in there. We got 5 million straw. Uh, the slurry is 100 million. I knew something was 100 million in there. Right. We're doing really well. I'm quite pleased with most of this. Let's skip another night. There we go. It is now February and we have snow on the ground. So we've gone through one night with our new cows. They're now at 100%. Uh, we are 1.4 million litres of food in there. We've got 97,000 litres of milk already. 
That's pretty good going. We've got to remember that those cows are still young cows, so they're not old cows just yet. Um, the food and everything else is probably just fine. The chickens, they're absolutely fine as well. And we can go and have a look in here. So, potatoes... We've run out of potatoes. Fancy that. Right, let's have a look. Where's our potatoes? We've got 800,000 of them right there. Uh, that means I want to go to you. And I'll get the mineral feed, because I'm over this side. If I grab the mineral feed first and drop that in, then I will also go and grab some potatoes. We need to put some potatoes into the pizza place. And we need to put some potatoes into the other place over there, the, um, the, the potato factory. And then once we've done that, that's those taken care of. Uh, the mineral feed place, that one, we've got 32,000 litres coming out of there at the moment. This one's still working. Sugar beet, I need to put some sugar beet in. Uh, soybeans is fine. Canola is fine. And I need some sunflowers to go in here. So we do need a few more bits and pieces to go into this one. But nothing at the moment. It's potatoes that I need to go and get. Let me bring you one round here. And I will load. So 200,000 litres of potatoes can go into the potato place. And then we need 8,000 litres to go into the pancake place. And then that's all the potatoes taken care of. So I am going to run round here. And we get about 200,000 litres. <laughs> I do love snow in this game. I absolutely do love having the snow and being able to drive around with it. It's it is very very awesome. It does get a bit of a it, it gets a bit of a pain after a while, but just just to start with, it's fun. Uh, potatoes, where's the potatoes? Potatoes, we've got uh, wood chips, chaff, forage, total mixed ration, seeds. Remember to fill those up. I need to move a bit of sugar beet. We'll do that later. Right, start you right there. And right, I'll go like 180,000 because then I don't have to worry about emptying anything out again. 196,000, close enough. And then I can take this round. We tip a little bit out for the pizzas because we have potato pizzas. i got to be honest, I've never tried potato pizzas. And I've got to be equally honest, still, I'm not entirely sure that I want to try potato pizzas. There are some things, you know, that, that there, are, there are mysteries in the world. That, that There are various different mysteries that you, you will encounter in the world. And one of those mysteries is what does a potato pizza taste like? But occasionally, there are things that mankind is just not meant to know. And I feel that potato pizza is one of those things. I felt that... I, I, I felt much the same kind of... visceral... is it vis visceral? Vi visceral? Vi visceral. Visceral response in the depths of my soul when I first heard there was such a thing as a cauliflower pizza. Some things mankind is not meant to know. We got so obsessed with whether or not we could we forgot to ask ourselves if we should. And when it comes to cauliflower pizza or broccoli pizza, I can assure you, when you ask yourself if you should, the answer is no. You should not. Pizza should not be adulterated in such a fashion. It's done... There is, there is nothing on this planet that is needed. To, to, to do something like that. It, 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 no. Just, just, just no. No and no. Right? Some things mankind should never do. And also, we've got other issues to deal with. Um, you know, there's still people that put, put pineapple on pizza, and that is equally abhorrent. Um, no. Just, just, right. Why are there so many people in the world that insist on doing things that are just crimes against nature? Uh, I do want to move sunflowers. 33,000 of these could go very nicely in there. Uh, we've got plenty of canola, so uh, 49,000... 49,035 litres of sugar beet, excuse me, could go in there. 
And also these few sunflowers could also go in there. So we'll run these on round. Right, with it being February, and we've got 1.3 million euros right here. Now, I have asked previously if you think that I should increase the price of the second round of greenhouses. I kind of think that I don't really need to be doing that, because uh, the highest price of the greenhouses is actually a bit higher. Uh, I can always adjust those prices in the next series. Now, I have said previously, you know what, I'm going to talk while I replace all these greenhouses. So, we've got no pallets out in front of any of them. It is currently snowing, but that's fine. Um, so, I've been talking, I'm, I'm doing a new recording session now. Um, I was talking about doing a, a new series, starting a new series. And originally I said, you know, I didn't really want to do that. But I, I've kind of been thinking about it and I think it would be a good idea. Because, you know, we go onto a fresh map and w we can try n new things, new ways of doing stuff. And, you know, it's a change of scenery, that sort of thing. Um, I, I quite like this idea. Now, I did say that I would actually do it. Uh, right, we sell that one. Um, I did say that I would actually do that when the new expansion comes out, so that we've got cat 5 I'm looking for, that's cat potato, cat 10, I'm just making sure I got the right one, so that's 90,000, and that one's 500,000, and then that one's 15,000, yeah, I definitely, for the next series I'm going to increase these, like, uh, I definitely think that we need to be increasing these. This doesn't seem right, but what I can do is I can go down and I can replace the greenhouses like this because of how they are. In oh, this is actually really cool. Okay. Uh, but anyway, yes. Um, for future, what I will do, I think, is uh, for, for the next series, is I might actually move sooner... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.